We're here at the NAM show on the Aston Microphones booth with James Young, who's going to show us what happens when you cross a pencil mic with a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is the Aston Starlight, our new baby for this year celebrating our first anniversary here so this is kind of quite apt as well right so it's a kind of unusual looking stick mic and end fire microphone yeah tell, tell us about it there's a load of unique features on this um, I should start by saying that we're going to be shipping the actual product in about six weeks time so it's not the usual kind of show it at NAMM see it sometime in November yes it is actually on the way um, the, the first and ob the most obvious thing that people are going to want to know about is this black housing on the top. Yes. This is a, a, a laser finder, effectively, a, a targeting device, so that um, you can get very easy recall um, and you can uh, place the microphone on an instrument accurately every time. Okay, and that um, operates from phantom power? It operates from phantom power and you've got an on-off switch here. Okay. So in studio use, obviously, recallability on a, on, a, on a session with an instrument, so you can mm -hmm. take a photo of where the laser's pointing and then you can go back to it months later and you'll be able to get pretty much the same sound. Yeah. Um, for live applications, of course, if you're out touring and, for example, you've got a drum kit, mm. you can just tape it off on the first night when you've got your when you've got your setup right, and then subsequent setups are really quick and easy. Okay. Now the microphone itself uh, looks a little unusual. This is a kind of sintered head, a little like some of the old AKG mics had back in the exactly. day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a, a, a new usage on a microphone. It's been done before, but the technology's moved on quite a lot. Mm. So the, the the degree of control we have over the size of the ball bearings that are fused together to make this is down to nanometers now and then we nickel plate it and that also has a, a you know the thickness of the nickel plating which we can also control down to that level means that we're able to exactly specify the porosity of this and it gives a near perfect acoustic response for the capsule in fact We've used this to help us tune the capsules. And one of the side benefits of using a center head like this is that we've got virtually linear off-axis response up to 30 degrees either side, which you yeah. wouldn't normally get from a capsule like this. OK, and the capsule itself is, what, 20 mil, I guess, in a body that size? 20 millimeter, so yeah, small diaphragm, gold sputtered capsule. Um, one of the other lovely features on this is this voice switch here. Yes, yeah, so I was going to ask about that. What do you get there? Basically, um, we wanted to try and give everybody everything that we could possibly feel, think of on one microphone. And this is um, kind of right at the front end of the circuit board. So as, as the signal leaves the capsule, it goes through in, an active inductive filtering system. Mm. Um, and this is really, it's not really EQ, it's more like having something which is actually changing the way that the capsule performs. Yeah. So you get a lot more headroom and a lot, like, a lot less kind of post-capsule noise in the, in, okay. the, in the system. So there are three modes. Uh, one is a vintage mode, so it has a subtle bass lift and some high-end roll-off. Mm -hmm. One is very modern sounding, so you've got a really bright, airy top end without any harshness okay. and a nice flat uh, frequency response. And then you've got a hybrid mode, um, which is a kind of blend of the two. Okay, that sounds pretty attractive. Yeah. And you have pads and filters? Yeah, 10 and 20 dB pad. It'll take up to 150 dB SPL. And it's also got an 80 and 140 hertz bass cut as well. Mm. So. And if it's anything like your other microphones, you will have built all the electronics in the UK using some fancy bits. A whole lot, yeah, all of the electronics are built in the UK, the mic chassis, everything, you know, there's a couple of components that we put, pull in from outside the UK, like the laser itself, you know, but uh, yeah, it's designed and built in the UK like all the other mics, mm. comes with a three-year warranty, the whole, the whole beans. And sonically as well, when we, did the, when we built this, we worked with a panel of producers and engineers in the UK again, as we did with the Origin and, and the Spirit. Um, and it sounds absolutely awesome. In, in all three modes, we've been putting it up against mics which cost five, six times the amount of money, and it's, it's, it's um, very much holding its own. <laughs> so does it come with any kind of mounting cradle? The single mic on its own comes with a mic clip. Yep. We're also doing a, a stereo matched pair, which will be launched at the same time. And the matched pair basically is two, two microphones, factory matched, of course. And then we have a custom UK-built Rycote as well, the shock mounts and the stereo mounting bar. And the whole assembly, both mics, the mounts and the bar, will cost £599 in that. So very affordable as well. It's very attractive. Yeah. So when do you hope to be shipping these, James? Should be about six weeks. I mean, they've just gone into production now. We're going to be releasing all the technical okay. specs. So that's for both the stereo pair and for the single microphone? Both at the same time, yeah. The, the stuff that we have, the information that we haven't released about this yet, which we re will be releasing uh, at the end of the month, so around, you know, around about the end of the month, is all of the deeper technical spec. But what I can tell you is that the total harmonic distortion figures are a factor of 10 better than anything else on the, on the mic market at the moment. Serious amounts of headroom. I mean, it's, it's technically as well as sonically a, a, a really excellent mic. So we're, we're very excited about this. Oh, I look forward to getting my hands on one to review it. Yeah. But in the meantime, <laughs> thanks, James. Thanks a lot. Thank you.